Here's one of my P Metallicas we're going to try to feed. You can see them right there at the top. We're going to try to slip this millworm in there. See if we can get him to get a hold of it. And a nice little threat pose from him. Tiny little guy already thinks he's bad. That's all right. We're gonna see if we can feed him anyway. Come on. There we go. Perfect. That was pretty good. Hopefully the other two go that well. Okay, this little guy is my Avicularia Versicolor. I got him when he was only about a half inch big. And now, about one and a half maybe. One. So, should be plenty hungry. I ain't too worried about this one getting out. We've held him a, a few times. So we'll bend this lid and see if we can get him to eat. There we go. Big millworm for you. There, he's got it. Let's see if I try. Put that lid back on and we'll see if we can get a better look at him. <clears throat> Kind of hard to see at the reflection on the table, but he's got it. My daughter loves holding this one. All right, cool. So this is uh, Dean, one of my small my small um, agents. Ooh, and he's very hungry. Man, I didn't even have time to set that down. He was waiting for it. Yeah, he's a good one. I like him. He's going to be fun. Eats good. A little bit of moisture in there. Cool. This is uh, one of my Choco Golden Knees. Man, I got him and he was just a spot. Just a tiny little guy. Couldn't even see him. And now... He's getting pretty big. I'm, I'm surprised he's growing so fast, but he's molding every month right now. I don't know if he's going to be hungry yet. He molted, I don't know if it's been a week, quite a week yet, but we're going to put one in here and, and see. Oh yeah, he's hungry. I don't know if that got on video or not, but he took it. Cool. I haven't put him on film yet, so that's his first one, first video of this guy. I'll have to review it and see if it uh, if it showed anything. Okay, here's my my subadult uh, Anthoscrigia inoculata. Oh, nice threat pose of me. It's threat posing me, threat posing the worm. I'm really surprised he's not eating, so 
he's usually a really good eater. All my agents are. The only time they don't eat and they start getting like this is when they're getting ready to molt. So, so I may have a mature male here shortly. Well, that'll be pretty cool. I know my female's in pre-molt, so um, there ain't no way I'm getting that worm right now, though. So I'm going to give it a little time to work its way out, one or the other. And then I'll pull it out, because he's not... Yeah, he's in pre-molt. Cool. Well, I may have some mature male here shortly. Good news. Thanks. Doing a quick update. I was getting in here to feed my uh, my Costa Rican red knee, and he has molted. So just barely. So we're not going to disturb him. We'll put this lid back on here, and uh, check on him a few days. Do an update. See how he looks. Okay, this is my Brachypelma and Gustum. Uh, I haven't got a feeding video for of her yet, so I'm hoping this will be the one. Whoa! Man, she came out and told me who's boss, huh? Doesn't want anything to do with me freaking sticking my tweezers anywhere near her. Wow, she struck those tweezers. I felt it. That's too bad. I don't want her to get hurt. Alright, well, I'll leave her alone and maybe she'll dig that one up. I hope. Alright, let's try to feed my Mexican fire leg, Vesta. This may be the last feeding video of her because I've got several people that are really interested in coming looking at her and maybe picking her up behind her. So, so we may, I mean, I got another one, a baby. So, this may be the last one for her, and we'll have to start making videos of my next one when she gets big enough. Oh, yeah. Take that bugger down. Look at her fight it. Beautiful. Awesome job. Cool. Man, I really hate Miss... I'm going to miss this one. She's, she's one of my favorites. She's been fun. Okay. Here's Erico. My Nahandu Coloractivolosis, Brazilian black and white. Oh yeah, he's hungry. Kind of figured he would be. He molted not too long ago. Really looking pretty. See if I can spin this and shed a little light on him. Yeah, he's beautiful. Doing good and getting big. Alright, I haven't fed this guy before. This will be my first time feeding him. This is that new green bottle blue I got. Yeah, good. Like to see him eat. Yeah, he's pretty. A little bit bigger than the other one I've been showing on my other videos. But still just a little guy. Not much bigger. Alright, well I'll let him eat that worm in peace, and then we'll go to another one. Alright, time to feed another one of my Nahandu Chromatis. This is O'Connor, and I'm really hoping he doesn't give me any problems. But, I'm kind of expecting that he does. But I don't know. We'll see. Can't get the worm, keeps jumping out of my. There we go. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Get the worm and then go hide, not, not mess with me. Cool. Okay, I'm 
I think this one's going to eat good too. Another one of my Nahandu Chromatis. This is Leticia. Um, except as soon as I started moving her cage, she started coming up to the top. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one on video because I really don't want her coming out. We'll see though. That was great. There we go. We'll just kind of hand it to her. Gonna move this out of the way a little bit. Cool. She's eating. A little bit of water. All right, cool, good deal. Here's my new G. Rosea. It's definitely my most friendly out of all of them. This is my mature male. Uh, this is my first time trying to feed him though. So, since I've gotten him. So we're gonna see if I can get him to eat. I sure would like to see him eat. We've held him, we, I, we hold him every other day probably, me and the kids. He's just, he's just a fun one to have. The kids like to have some, some teas in the house that are, allow us to hold them. He hasn't eaten since I've gotten him. I've had him probably two weeks now, so. So I sure would like to see him eat. It'd make my day. Alright, well, maybe he just doesn't like to eat on camera, so I'm going to leave that there and uh, check on him here in a few minutes. So this is my avicularia avicularia. I haven't really got a good video of him, so we're going to see if he'll eat for us. Doesn't look like it. You gotta be getting hungry. That's too bad. Would have been a good one to watch. I'll let that worm hang out for a second and see if he'll take it, but I really don't think he's going to. No. I guess here's one that we don't need much of an introduction. This is Big Meanie. My G. Rosea. She'll eat for sure. She never never has refused food yet. Oops. Gotta, I guess I gotta watch the camera. So I want to see if I can get her out here, but... Come on. I know you'll come out here. Here she comes. Get her out of the shadows a little bit. Alright. Good girl, always eating for me. That's one good thing about having such a an aggressive spider. She just will uh, always perform when you want. Cool.